40 years, generations of families have made the Ice House their summer dining destination. Sixty-four. We'll call that last window to your left. Thank you. If you've never been to the Ice House, the ice cream and the food, like seafood chowder, they're all fresh sea scallops and uh, fresh clams, are sure to entice you. But it's the hospitality that will encourage you to keep coming back. Hi. How are you today? <laughs> Keith and Kathy Malinowski bought the Ice House in the summer of 1980. It was very small with no indoor plumbing. It was just basically a, sh a shack, you know, with like, I think there were four tables. In 2002, the Malinowski family decided to tear down the small shack and expand. The bathrooms were outside. You had to walk outside to get to the bathroom. So it just was falling down. And we basically built it back the way it was but made it better. Even the license plates customers from around the world have donated to the walls of the Ice House were put back in their original spot. I numbered all of them and took pictures and then I tried to take pictures because people were very worried that it wasn't going to look the same. and quaint with family pictures scattered throughout the dining room inside. Patrons who order at the window can have their meal or ice cream on the ice house deck. Four generations of the Malinowski family work here. Kathy and Keith's daughter, Meg Bishop, grew up at the ice house. I actually started getting a paycheck when I was 12 years old. I worked in the scoop room for a couple summers and then they put me in the kitchen and then they stuck me out here my sophomore year in high school in the dining room. So I've done everything. 43 flavors of ice cream. The ice house goes through about 200 tubs of ice cream a week at the height of the busy summer season. You're welcome. Enjoy. The menu offers lobster and seafood, burgers, and fresh onion rings. So uh, in a lot of places, they're frozen. Those just don't cut it. Meg and her husband eventually plan to run the restaurant once Keith and Kathy retire. Their two teenage daughters also work here. They've watched me grow up, and now they've watched my kids grow up. So it's their family. Marie Nelson has worked here as a server for 29 years. Nice people. They're a great family to work for. At the Ice House, the one word you hear tossed about? Family. When you become a worker here, you're not a worker, you're a family. And when you become a regular, you're not a regular, you're family. So it's just memories. Just up the road from the Ice House is another summer hotspot. BG's Boathouse is also family owned and operated. It's celebrating its 41st year. And if you don't feel like driving to BG's, no worries. They have plenty of parking spaces for your boat. The slogan of Bee Gees Boathouse is, where the locals go. But make no mistake, tourists find their way to this seacoast landmark located off the beaten path on Sagamore Creek. The regulars come to the bar daily and then weekly for at the tables in the dining room. Um, and then we get a lot of tourists. Bruce and Joanne Graves founded Bee Gees in 1978. At the time, it was Henry's Lobster Pound. But the Graves built a business and a legacy, carried on today by their son Jeff, his wife Lori, and granddaughter Dana. My grandparents would be here and I'd hang out, play on the docks, eat chicken fingers all day. Good memories. We started out without the dining room. It was just uh, picnic tables, takeout window. And what, what is the lounge right now um, used to be the dining room. We get fresh seafood delivered seven days a week uh, from local vendors. Swordfish, salmon, tuna, mahi-mahi. Steamers are really popular. The lobster roll, like I said, we have lobsters that you can just order. We have a lazy lobster if you don't want to do the work for it. A true family operation, Jeff's son Josh works in the kitchen. Just steaks, swordfish, salmon, something like that where we can just oil up the grill, throw it on, flip it when it's ready. That stuff's definitely my favorite. Hi. 
Hi. How are you today? Great. How are you? I'm great. Thanks. Can I just have a coat, please? The large deck overlooking Sagamore Creek is a great spot to watch the sunset while you enjoy lunch, dinner, and drinks. Inside the Sagamore Pub, bartender Caitlin McGregor whipped up the restaurant's signature drink, BG's Punch. We have frozen drinks, we do a lot of margaritas, a lot of summer drinks. <laughs> there is indoor seating when the weather doesn't cooperate. Kiddos can stay busy exploring by the water or coloring at the table, their artwork proudly displayed. The star attractions are the food and the tranquility of Sagamore Creek. The people are wonderful. This is the most beautiful location you can imagine. Food's awesome, lobster rolls here to die for. Um, the swordfish is always fresh, it's always good. Um, can't, can't say enough about the food here. Whether you paddle, motor, or drive, a local or a tourist, Fiji's Boathouse and Marina, worth a visit this summer.